Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I told you how I technically commit arson twice. Not much, not shouldn't be a long video, not much to talk about of it, but one thing gotta talk about is, holy, thank you all so much for 100 subscribers, I very much appreciate it, and I never thought I'd get to this many subscribers, so I don't, honestly don't know what to say. And just enjoy the video. So I'm gonna just be talking about how your boy Durple kinda commit arson. Also I'm on band, so but I suck at speed bridging now. So I got a new monitor, so or FPS, but this is how your boy Durple kinda kinda commit arson. I also wanna thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers very epic oh. okay so basically what happened was the first time because this happened twice believe it or not so first time what happened was me and my two friends or me and the three other kids in my class because i'm a short class we were doing bottle of rockets for science in sixth grade so this was about two years ago and so so basically what happened was we thought, oh, that's fun. And so we thought we would do it on our own. So what we did was we bought our own rockets and my teacher who did it with me, he did give me uh, some stuff to launch it, but I got my own launcher. And so it was pretty cool. So my teacher gave me stuff and we went to go launch our rockets. Yeah. And so pretty much, okay, sorry. I'm very bad at multitasking. Okay, sorry. So pretty much what happened was we decided let's launch rockets, right? So I slept over at my friend's house with my other friend. Next day, we go to the park to launch rockets, of course. And so I launched my rocket. It went pretty well. My friend launched his rocket pretty well. And so then it was my other friend's turn launched his pretty well. And so then I realized I need to use the bathroom. So I went to go use the park bathroom. I'm walking back and I see my friend's little brother screaming, saying, we started a fire, we started a fire. And, oh my gosh, one of my friends tried to grab a park garbage to dip it in the lake to stop the fire. And my other friend tried grabbing his hat to fill it up with water, which did nothing. So we decided, we decided to go stomp on the fire. And so... Hold on, I got this. Yeah. And so we decided to stomp out the fire. But after, but by the time that was over, we set, like, a bunch of the park on fire. Like, the park was, like, oof. Like, holy. So we set the, par the park on fire. We stomped it out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But then, our my friend's little brother decided to go around telling everyone, going, Hey, we started a fire. We started a fire. And my and his brother was of course telling him to shut up because I'm not gonna get in trouble for committing arson. But yeah, that was the first time we pretty much committed arson. The second time was, uh, it was a f like a week ago, by the way. I decided me and my friend needed to do a science fair, and our science experiment was what boils best. And so we decided to boil a bunch of stuff. One of the things was 99% alcohol. Uh, for some dumb reason we mainly chose to do alcohol because our teacher told us it was a good idea so we're like all right let's do that then and so that's pretty much what we did so yeah oh man all right so we started, so we decided to, so my friend's mom had to go, and she said not to boil the oil because it might start a fire first. So I was like, hey, the alcohol's already room temperature. Let's start off by boiling that. And my friend's like, no, let's just do the water for now. And I'm like, all right, fine. And so we decided to do the water. So we boiled the water, went fine, and all that. And so then what we did was his mom got home because the reason she left was to get his dog from the groomer. And... His mom got home, got the dog, and she started to make nachos because she wanted to feed us. 
because yeah we've been home at his house for a while already and so she decided let's do nachos so she was right next to the stuff that's cooking and so yeah this guy's dead yeah and so she was right next to him making nachos and then after like three minutes oh that was mean to say there's only one way to reach the play all right so then she was right next to the pot as it was put doing the alcohol don't ask why we did alcohol because our teacher said it was a good idea which obviously wasn't so we boiled the alcohol luckily his mom was home because that was not a smart idea when she was right next to it doing her nachos okay we had we were sitting down away uh we were sitting down not next to it doing whatever you know just waiting for the timer to go out because the we put a timer Let's not talk about that. Alright, so. We put the timer. We were waiting for it to go off. Of course, like the good old boys we are. And the timer didn't go off. Not after three minutes. Because what happened was a huge flame. Like, giant. Like, it, it, don't even know how to... Ex it was giant... Giganto. Giganto. Yep. Giganto. So that started, and his mom was right next to us, so she went like a little yelp, you know, a little, little girl yelp, like girls do, of course. And then me and my friend, my friend grabbed water to try to splash it, which kind of spread it a bit, so that wasn't smart. I kind of froze during that, and his mom tried to grab it, and then she used an oven mitt. She used an oven mitt to try to. Or not an oven mitt, she grabbed a towel that was next to it to try to pick it up, but it was too hot, so she dropped it. So, so then she threw the cap of a pot of the pot on top of it. She put the cap of the pot on top of it. And it bounced off so it didn't stop the fire. Then she went and put her arm like past the fire to put the cap on again. Which worked, stopped the fire, which was good. Which was a good thing, of course. But it burnt up the counters and stuff and i'm like all right i should probably go home so i called my dad and my grandma came and got me 